So you have people that make a decision. They either go with the public defender or they hire their own lawyer. Money helps, but if you can't afford it, then there's an option. Bail is the same thing. If you can afford it, you can post it. If you can't afford it, then there's other options. Supervised release. So usually when you see the majority of the people going in to get released, they're in with the public defender's office. And the public defenders are asking for two things in every motion for release. They ask for one, supervised release. And if they don't qualify for supervised release, then they ask for a reduction in the bail amount which is actually ridiculous if you think about it because if the person doesn't qualify for, for supervised release, meaning that they're going to be supervised, monitored, and assisted in the community and have help getting to court, if they don't qualify for that, why should we let the guy out just because instead of $20,000 bail, we're going to reduce it to $2,000 and then he's released with no restrictions. That guy's not going to show up if you can't be trusted on supervised release. So you rarely see a motion granted for bail reduction. And the money case doesn't, the money part doesn't even play into the case. It's strictly a supervised release motion. This new bill for an act is going completely the, the wrong direction, saying we're never gonna require anybody to post bail. Well, the statute right now doesn't require you to post bail. That's not the only way that you can get out is with money. So if you got 500 people sitting in jail because they can't afford to post bail, then the question is, well, why can't they be put on supervised release? Why can't they be given some kind of conditions? Why can't they be given an electronic monitoring? Yes. Okay. The problem is because they don't qualify for that either. So they don't qualify for anything. Um, and that's where you run into the problem. So if somebody does, does not have the money to post bail, then that's too bad as long as there's another way for them to get out. But if they don't qualify for that either, then they're gonna have to sit because at that point, by definition, there's nothing that can be put in place that will secure their appearance at court. That's a harsh reality that a lot of people probably aren't going to be able to stomach, to tell you the truth. Um, there is a reality where there are some people who have mental health issues where no matter what type of supervision you put them on, they're probably gonna have problems going to court and just being um, accessible to get notifications from people. They might not have cell phones, they might not have stable addresses. Um, of course, there's the homelessness issue. Um, there's the huge substance abuse issue where people could be super well-intended, yet they're gonna trip up because of their substance abuse issue. And it frustrates me when people think it's just about money, when money always matters, it's probably like a top 10 issue, but number one, public safety, two, are they gonna reappear in court? Three, um, there's the victim involved, are they gonna stay away from the victim? We sort of gloss through all these different things and then we just talk about money. You know what I mean? It's a top 10 thing, but it's not even in the top three. 